Hello everybody and welcome back to the craft room with Tanya and Amelia Rose. Amelia Rose is my gorgeous eight-year-old granddaughter. One of my gorgeous granddaughters. One. Yeah, the youngest one, isn't that right? Mm. The youngest granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah. Not the... What to pop it? Not the youngest grandkid. I think that... If we're going to do this, you should grab the apron. What do you think? Yeah. Because I don't want you getting your good clothes covered in, in ink. Look at Granny. Granny's been having a bit of an experiment and too much fun. And this is one that I made earlier. So it's just dry enough. So we'll set that to the side. We made a couple, actually. Look at the state of me. Um, and this is one of my serviettes that arrived today. Do you want me to put that on for you, Pat? Mm -hmm. Let me just get Twinkle Toes organised here. Sorry. Give me a second. She's a wonderful helper, aren't you? There we go. You ready? So, this okay. is one of our serviettes that arrived. The other one was the rose, which you saw on the picture a few seconds ago. Um, so, what we're going to do is what we've done before, and we're going to get our water pen once we get this separated. Separating is fun with sore fingers, isn't it? Made it oh, there's one off. That was relatively easy, wasn't it? Yeah. That didn't take up to you. Do you want this for your project? Yes, because I'm doing a massive project. Massive project? Oh, gosh. Sounds exciting. It really is. Now, let's see. Can we get this? I need all the tissue paper I can get. Oh. So I'm not allowed to keep any then? If that's okay. <laughs> and keep some. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be plenty more. No, if I pushed my glasses up my nose, yes, yes, there we go. When you put, oh dear, somebody is absolutely loaded with the cold, aren't you? Per puppet. Now, are you ready? No, you'll be okay till later on, okay? It's really because you don't have, you don't have a, what do you call it, an infection, and you don't have a temperature, so it was just because you had a sore throat. Right, here we go. Now, we're going to use our water pen. Um, gosh, nearly opened that. And we're going to choose what pieces we want to use. So, I like this colour. So do I. And I like this colour. And I like this colour. Um, in fact, I like the whole thing. So, it's very, very hard to choose. But I was thinking, if we separated these, what do you think? Is that a good place to start? Yeah. Ooh, that's a bit heavy-handed. There, like that. Why did you do water on it? You'll see. So it's easier. Easier to tear. Well done. And then all you do is give it a little rip and look what happens. See? And a little rip there. Oops. No, oops. Granny ripped a bit. Do you want that little piece of tissue? Do you it's want that? Wet. Just let it sit on your desk till we get this done and then it'll dry. Is that alright? No, there we go. Not enamoured with that bit. So we'll let that actually I'm not enamoured with this little leaf here. So I've just, do you see what I've done? I've wet it and then I've done, there's another one and I'll just pull these off like this. And then I get what I want, you see? Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> oh, that cough's dreadful, isn't it? Those so sinuses. Sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, don't apologize, Poppet, it's not your fault. I know. I know. Ow. Oh, was that me? Did I do that with the, the chair? Yeah, that's no. okay. No. What bit? What bit will we do next? Do you think? The pinks? Um, oh, I know. Right. Okay. So, right. Well, what, what about these two? No? Oh, yes, oh this, gonna... these two? Yeah. I wouldn't have room for all of that pop it. Well, I tell you what. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I think we'll do these two. We'll keep it a bit new more neutral. I know, I know. I ask you and then I go my own way, don't I? Mm -hmm. Oh, Granny, you're so bold. No. You said I could choose. Well, I'll let you choose the next one. How's that? Okay. Is if that... we do another one. Oh, we will. We'll be doing plenty more of this. Granny got loads of serviettes. Right, do you want those? There, that perked you up, didn't it? <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Now, look, isn't that, isn't that pretty? Put it here to dry? Yeah, put it there to dry for a second. We've now. got loads of blues. We have. 
haven't we? Yes, I'm now, let me get a little leaves. Right, let me put this brush away, because we won't be needing that. Oh, there's one's lost its leg. Oh, dear, 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 poor puppet. And I'm just going to pick up some of the colours. <coughs> oh, dear, 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 you're having an awful time with it, aren't you? Yeah. Right, let's see now. There's Rusty Hinge, where does that go? Now, Amelia Rose, where did I put my... Where did I put my colours from earlier on? Now, we need, we need walnut stain. There it is. We need walnut stain. What was the other? Straw, wasn't that it? Straw was scattered straw. Gosh, I think. Scattered right. straw was amazing. Right, now, watercolour paper Whoa. and text stamp. Ooh. And that's pretty much us. You ready? Watercolour? No. This is Stella and Rowney, Rowney watercolour paper. And I bought it because I thought it would be that nice white colour. But it wasn't. What do you see? It's yellowy cream. So it's not that nice white colour. So well, Granny uses this for her backgrounds. Because the watercolour paper is very forgiving. And it lets us play around a little bit. Yes. Can I have my smoocher, please? You can do some smoocher. You love your smooching, don't you? Uh-huh. Right. I've got my very own smoocher. Very own smoocher, indeed. Right. Now, we'll keep, these, we'll keep these out of the way. Because we don't want them. Actually... That's right, isn't it? We smooch first. Yeah, we're smooching yeah. first. Now, you want to do the... Right, okay. Where... Where do we second? What, where's, what colour did I use? It was What, what was the other colour I used? Can you remember? This one? No, this one. no there was another colour. What was it? Oh, I think... Oh, it, it was Mermaid Lagoon. Mermaid Lagoon. Well done, pop -up. Well, Well done. It was Mermaid Lagoon. Brain is starting to get a bit fried at this time of the day, isn't it? Yeah. Right, Mermaid Lagoon. And then we just me a put a little bit of the colour on. Well, you're doing better than me. And then spray it with not too much water, Pat. Not too much. Just a little bit. You don't need an awful lot. And then, this is our favourite bit. We love doing this, don't we? Start smooching. Oh, wow. I'll bring that over your end a bit. And I'll bring it over yours. Yeah, careful. That's it. Well, I'm going to do a big one in the middle. Okay, off you go. Big one in the middle. It's a good idea. It's a fabulous idea. Now, do you see? You see a way, though. You can see now how, how the watercolour paper is so forgiving. <laughs> now, let's see. Let's get a bit more of that lovely blue in it. It's mixing in with your purple and creating a fab colour, which is just like hydrangeas. Look, yeah, look. Hydrangea, that's what's that's the flower that's in the um there's a couple of lines that I don't want. Now, what are you putting on yours now? Twinkles. Oh you're doing a bit but not too much. Scattered okay. straw. You're right, you're doing scat <laughs> Okay, you're doing scattered straw. Right, off you go. That's plenty. That's plenty. Well done. I'm going to steal a little bit of your scattered straw like okay. that. Oh, I know. Grannies. They're, hey, they're rogues, aren't they? That's enough. Right, off you go. That's enough stealing. That's enough stealing of the scattered straw. Off you go. Come on, give it Willie. Perfect. Good girl. Yes, lots of colour because we predominantly need, we need it in the middle more than anywhere, don't we? Lift it up to see what's happened. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, that's beautiful. Well done, Poppet. In fact, I think you're so good at it. We'll give you another go. Put some water on that. And we'll do a bit more. Oh, boy. That's okay. I can do... <laughs> I can do my own, you know. Careful, does it... Is, is it giving up the ghost? What's happened? Hey, that was me squirting. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I just thought you tested it in granny. No. <laughs> we need, that's beautiful. Oh, what, now here, easy up a minute, because that's just getting into a wee bit of a, you know, some over here, I think. Yeah, and over in this corner. Perfect. No. Sorry, I got some in there, but. That's, no, that's okay, sweetie. We, we have to experiment. This is, it's a background. We're not fussed. We're not worried. No. It's, it's all. <coughs> Oh, that bad old cough. I have to get you some more honey and lemon. Yeah, I'll some Calpol later. Calpol comes later at bedtime. Well, not quite near bedtime. bedtime. Yeah, near bedtime. 
Now give us your smoochers to get the rest of the ink off it now. Just with my very own whip! Oof! <laughs> there we go. Now Granny's going to give this a, a little blow dry. So. Yes, a little a little blow dry so bear with us a second. We, we'll be straight back. Okay and welcome back. So we had a little play around didn't we? Yeah. And we like this but we didn't, it was too much with the other bit of blue. So we're just going with the three, aren't we? The three hydrangea blooms. So now what we need to do. We didn't really do much. No, no. So where's the brushes? There we go. Where's the brush? Where's the brush, 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 brush? There it is. There it is. Right. You ready? No. This is just Mod Podge glue. And we're using it. Whoa. That's a lot of sweeping motion. <laughs> What? You are so funny. You have me in kinks. There we go. Right. <laughs> this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that on the glue? Right. We're just going to gently let it fall and then sort of with a very, very gentle tapping motion. Do you see that? Very gentle tapping motion. Let it sink into the page. And there's a bit there hasn't got glue on it. So we'll just... There we go. Perfect. Now this little jobby over here will do the same thing. All right, oops. Put that in the recycling bin and pop her down. Just flatten her out a little bit. Need a little bit more glue down here. There we go. They're sort of meeting in the middle, but it doesn't matter. It just gives us a bit of texture. Not worried about that. And there's a little bit there. Perfect. Are you having fun over there, madam? I'm making something. Good. We love it when we make something, don't we? Now. I'm let me... for someone in this room. <laughs> something for someone in this room. Oh, can I give it away? Do you think? You're so sweet. Right, let's see now. Let's see. I'll leave that there because I'm going to use that and I'll put that in the bin and get another little piece of kitchen roll. Now, what I'm going to do next is I have some clear... Sure. Oh, look at that. You did the brolly. We were playing around with those earlier on, weren't we? Yeah. Thank you. That's beautiful, sweetheart. That's very kind. Give me a kiss. You're a wee dope. Oh, can I do this bit? Yes, you can do this bit. Now, this is just clear gesso, transparent clear gesso. Any gesso will do. Now, hold on. That's the glue brush. So we'll do it with the clear brush, okay? Okay, over it. You know what to do? You're going over all of the serviette. But try not so much on the, um, on the card. That's a good girl. But actually, it doesn't matter so much. You just fire away. That's it. Now, try not to go over the serviette too much. Because you don't want to tear it. That's it. Good girl. I'm just turning it upside down. Right, okay. And you're not really missing much. Can everybody see what you're doing? No. Yeah. Good girl, that's perfect. And not a, just just in a brush motion, not not circle. Because we don't want to rip those serviettes, sure we don't. That would sort of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it, Pet? Yep. Good girl. That's it. I think it's a wee bit here. Could do with another bit. See there? That's it. Ooh, fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow it? Please. Oh! <laughs> what are we like? We're we're like a comedy duo instead of crafting duo. Her gloves. She has. She. What did you tell me? You looked like. What was it? Who said all good all, all horror movies start with a a mad sci or a scientist telling everybody that it's going to go badly wrong? Is that it? You. You said that. I said that. Okay. What 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 um did you say? You just said you looked like a scientist, did you? Yeah, that's uh, what I said. Ah, right, 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 right. Like, Where were the fairies again? What was that hit the floor or, or, or the table? Was that your water bottle? Was, it just fell over. It's not this is this is this is yeah, that's lifting a little bit. Which one was the glue brush here? Let's get that, see if that's enough to get that down. And then, oh, that cold. Oh, dear, sweetie. Put your hand over your mouth if you can. That's a good girl. 
I know it's horrible and I know it's not nice to have a cold. But if you can, it helps not to share the germs with everybody, doesn't it? Oh, I wiped that up my trousers. <laughs> Don't you do that. Right. No, I know, I know at the, oh, here. I know at this moment in time, looking at it, it just looks like a, it, this will dry clear. So don't worry about that. We're going to give it a little going over with our heat gun. Our heat gun. Uh, so we're just going to pause the video, so. We'll be back we'll, in a, we'll in a mo. And then we put that little button and we're back. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of, um, mixed media i'm not sure that there's really an awful lot of places um that i can stick that no it's not really working is it it's um not completely dry hello are you back yeah i thought you were abandoning me for this no. ah. I just wanna... you want to watch or you want to do it i want to do it you want to do it right so you're oh cheapers creepers this is the homemade where did i put the palette knife where did i get mine no 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 it's okay we did the first one. That's a rubbishy one. There it is. Yeah, but this one's better. It, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't want it. Do you mind? We'll use that next time when you and I are just doing one on the journal. Is that okay? But you said when we were doing the one in the journal, you said next time. I did, but I meant next time we were doing the journal. I didn't anticipate that we'd be doing a video. Do you want to do this or not? No. Oh, you're huffing with me, are you? Okay, come on, here, come on. No. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's the way it goes. The joys of being a granny, eh? Do you want to put the um, ink on? Ink? Yes. Do you love, so. yeah. Yes, that's better. <laughs> Never stay cross for long in this house, sure we don't? Yeah. Not at all. Now, are you ready to lift this up and see? Look at that, isn't that pretty? Ooh. Isn't that very pretty? It's a lovely little stencil. I'm still not doing it. That's okay, hun. That's okay, Granny will do it. Because it is it is tricky. And this, this particular dimension paste is starting to harden a little bit. Actually, can I? Oh. Y you can. The next one. <laughs> yes, you can do the next one. How's that? Absolutely, you can. There's a few bits missing. That's okay. It, we don't need it perfect. Look at that. Isn't that glorious? Now, I'm going to do another one here. You okay. want to do this one? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, gosh. Let me. I was going to try and stick that down for you, but I think it might be too, too damp. There we go. Cover it in the stuff. Now, pop it here, and no, here, and then take it from there. I think you have a bit too much. So yes, but I was getting from the side. That's okay. Yeah, that's where it's hardest. I have to put a drop of glue and a drop of um, acrylic paint in it to oh. soften it up. Oh, oh, it moved. It moved. Now, careful. I'll hold it. Oh. Yes, I see, see it. It's really, really chalky on that part. Right. That's it, good girl. A little. Now don't get it over this. Don't don't try not to if you can help it. That's it. <laughs> right. Let, let Granny guide your fingers. Right. You have to take it to the side like that. That's it. That's I think it. I need just a little more. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more, and then that's you. Look. Oh, you're doing such a good job. Well done, honey bunny. And... There. That's it. Now put that back in the pot. And I think, look at that. Good girl, you did a lovely job. <coughs> Hand over my good girl. Um, do you want to do a titchy bit there? Why not? Right, now we have to be careful because we've already done this bit. Look, look, are you paying attention? Yeah. Not from the centre, just get it from the centre. Granny left the lid off. Now we're just doing this wee titchy bit here. That's a bit too much, I think, pop it off. Oh. That's it. Right. Good girl. That's us. Perfect. Now, not over the page, okay? Now, let Granny help you just to, to clear it off. That's it. Perfect. And you try and put that back in the pot. And then we'll get this all cleaned up. You ready? Awesome. 
awesome. Oh, that nasty old cold, isn't it? <coughs> oh dear, hand over my thing. <coughs> That's sus, good girl. Now, we'll go and get everything cleaned up and let that dry off and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, everybody, and welcome back. Um, have it upside down, don't I? Now, I just want to get a tiny bit of script in if I have room. I'm not sure how much room I have here. I should have done this probably before I did the dimensional paste, but it's not the end of the world. You can go over the top here and there. I'll probably wash off anyway. Let me see, get a little bit in there. And a bit up there, and I think that's probably nearly maybe a little bit there. Is that enough? There, that's enough. That's definitely enough. Right, let's get that cleaned up very quickly. Oops. That's a beautiful little script stamp, actually. I use it a lot. It's um, made by a company called Indigo Blue. I'm very fond of their products, I have to be honest as well. Um, they do beautiful luscious powders. They do great, great stamps like this for journaling and um, card making and mixed media. They're fabulous for mixed media. Um, I like them very much. I must admit, they're probably one of my favourites. Um, right, now let's see. What do I want to do next? What do I want to do next? Oh yes, I want to do my inks. I've lost my little help. Oh, are you back? You're just bringing the stuff back? Are you away? You've deserted me? I love you. I'll see you in a moment. You're feeling wretched? All right, pop, and I'll be up in a second. Is that all right? You don't mind? No, okay. Okay, you take that up with you. I'll be up in a minute. Okay, pop it. I'm nearly finished. Whoopsie daisy. You sure you don't want to do the ink? Sure. You turned the light out on me. Oh dear. What is it they say? Never work with children or animals, eh? Sorry about that. I think she's past herself with this cold, the poor poppet. Now, I'm just going to use a little bit of this. These are um, Vivids, Indigo Blue Vivids. This one's Robin Hood. Oh, I've got it all over me again. Um, and the red is called Much Miller. I think I got a wee set and I think it was... Um, no, let's see. Yeah, Robin Hood, wasn't that it? That's it. And let's see. Can I get it? Yeah, it is coming out a little bit. This is dangerous. You can't take this off, unfortunately. There we go. There's a bit more. Um, and I'm just going to dab a few colours in here and there because unfortunately I have to do it with my brush. It's drying already, good grief. Right, let's get the water on that before it dries any more. Now, I want it to spread. So I just want it to run and do its own thing. If it goes into the serviettes, don't worry because the serviette will absorb it and um, it'll just, there we go, that's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, do I want it? highlight that anywhere maybe just a wee bit in there it's a beautiful color isn't it yeah just a tad in round here as well might as well use it up let me see if that won't run a bit more for me actually let's see Oh, it will. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? So pretty. It's just running in between those bits of... Um, I was going to put a bit of green on that, but I'm not sure that I will. I'll just do a wee bit more around here. 
deep, deep in that color. So it works so well with this one. Um, let's see with that. Does that need another wee spritz? Let's see, is that going to run for me? It is a bit, yeah. Great. I just want to get it into this little section here. There it is. There it goes. Come on, come on. Sort of help bring it so it on its way a little bit. There we go. That will do lovely. Now we we'll just clean this up quickly. There we go. And then I'll have to go and get the little one's bathed and her washed and get back in good favour. <laughs> oh dear, dear. Now. I want to spritz this, um, or spritz it, or whatever it is you do. Splatter, that's the word I'm looking for. So first of all, I have a little bit of black, just to pull in the um, black script and the darker colours. No, I don't want too much of this, so I'm just going to tap it here and there. Where it's still wet, it'll run, and that's perfect. I have no problem with that. That's nice. I think that's plenty. Don't need to do too much. And then get that lifted. Then I'm going to pop this. I don't need. Do I need to pop it in? I'm just going to. I do. I need to pop this into this splatter box to do this. Here we go. Good old trusty splatter box. Tad of water. A little tiny, tiny touch of water. That's it. There we go. I'm going to just give this a bit of colour, a bit light. I think I've a wee bit too, that's a wee bit too thick. Let's mix in a bit more water. Can you see that okay? That's better. Although I don't actually mind it, the, the big sprays, I think it adds a bit of texture and colour. I quite like them. Um, but if you don't, just add it a bit more water or a bit less and play around with it a bit and it will work out for you now. There we go. Put that in there and get that cleaned up. There we go. No. There we go. That's it. I'm just going to get this dried and then final touch and that's us. So bear with me one more second please. Okay, I think that's as dry as I'm going to get those big bumpy bits, so I just need to be very careful. Now, I have some Distress Oxide Walnut Stain and a blending brush. And the last little bit that I want to do is to very, very carefully go around the edge of this and just darken it down a bit with a bit of Walnut Stain. And really, it, it makes it look like it's aged. I think and it looks sort of old country paper like it's been ripped off a wall or something I don't know but I think it's really beautiful I'm just taking it the whole way around just not into the center or anything but just the whole way around it, that edge just to give me a bit of a frame I suppose you could take it into the center because we're making this we'll be taking this into cards or making it into cards um so You could, couldn't you? Just dull that down a bit there. Where do we see? Anywhere where we think it's a bit too white. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Just dull it down a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. And that's us. That's it. Another background in the bag. 
complete with assistance from granddaughter. And then desertion my granddaughter. So I think it looks great. I love these, absolutely love them. This is the other one, which is almost dry. So they're, they're too... And those are just serviettes and they look like paintings, don't they? Absolutely love them. So I hope you do too. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do apologise for the histrionics and the sneezing and the snuffling and the coughing and the other bits and bobs that didn't quite work out, whatever they were, I can't remember. But I hope you enjoy it. If you did, if you did, please remember to give me a very inky thumbs up. Um, it would very, very much be appreciated. Um, and I do hope you give it a go. It's definitely worth a try. Any any ink will work on it. Um, if you don't have distress inks, you can use your Stampin' Up! inks. If you don't have Stampin' Up! inks, use acrylic paint. Um, it, as once you put that gesso over, it will work just as well. Um, if you don't have gesso, I think if you put a drop of, of your PVA glue over, it should give the serviette a sealant. I'm not 100% sure of that. So try it on a small piece of paper first and see what happens. Um, it's all trial and error at the end of the day. Um, and it's it's crafting, it's artwork, so it doesn't really matter if, if, if it works out, it works out. If it curls, it curls. If it starts to shrivel up and tear, it doesn't matter. When you put that onto a card, you're going to have a load of texture and it's still going to look fantastic. So there you go. I'm going to let you go and go and do my grandmotherly duties and get some macaroni cheese on the go and a bath and hair washed. Um, so I hope you have a lovely, lovely day wherever you are. Um, do enjoy it. Uh, morning, afternoon or evening. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And um, to anybody who sees this that hasn't seen the preceding video, um, please go one back and either just leave a message or your name, whichever you prefer, in the comments section. And um, then you can be entered into the draw. Um, when we hit 800 subscribers, we're going to pull a name out of those people. Um, we'll pull a little name out of a tin bucket or whatever it happens to be. And a beautiful little wooden antique sort of wheelbarrow gummy a pan die will be wheeling its way to you. Um, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.